<laughs> this is just the first option. But what if I told you that what you were doing is just a decoy for what you're really going to do, which is recover a half guard. So look, completely lost my sense of everything and I'm flat, you mounted me. I don't even know how we even wound up this way, okay? But I know that somehow we did. Now I gotta start my progression in order to go from beginning, middle, end. And my end preferably is on top side control, not in his guard, okay? From here, I need to retract my elbows to my hips. I can get this one, but I can't get this one. He's walking it away. Look, I retract and I go in completely circle right here. Okay? My right hand goes on his hip, okay? Now watch what happens here. Do you see this right in this elbow here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go this way here. And I'm gonna get to the half guard here. I'm gonna go where I, same place as we were yesterday. See what I did? I knew you guys did. But look, the point is this. I'm lifting him and I'm gonna take my leg down and I'm gonna push his knee in the half guard because I'm getting this knee light because all the weight is shifting that way. So look, I brought this down here. Look, I anchor my hand, I'm here. I did this here, I went here, look. everything here look I'm framing here when you frame here oftentimes they're gonna give you tension here yes so look I go here he's done from here because I have my underhook here okay from here you can do whatever you want I get small All you're doing now is you're going up. You're going here, up. And that happens. Yeah, one more time. This looks great when they get all the weight on that right knee of theirs and you're moving them that way, your hip slide to the left so that you're on your right side. Because from here, look. Look from here, you go up here. Okay, from here I need to shift my hips and you can. So bring myself down, below the hip. Crafting my elbows, look. Let's do that, look. You're here. You retracted your elbows, and now you're here framing that hip. You're kind of trapping his arm here, but here, look. I have a half guard. Inch, stretch, inch, stretch, inch. And I find that under the cross this hip line here. Okay, one more time. When you get better at this, you can combine the two. Here, oh, can I just here? And come this way. When you stop moving with intention, you see how I went from beginning, middle, and but my objective was to push his left knee into my half guard using this sensor here, which is why you put it there on the hip so that you can drive his knee into half guard. One more time. So just do this guy. You trap this arm. Look. From here. This is 
done deal right here. I have done it. I just have to begin to rock him so that my hips can move away. I can get onto my left side. And I don't want him to hold me flat here. Here. Got my forward under the here. Okay? So just practice and then come up as we did yesterday where you switch your feet with that leg. Okay. Now, and that left arm. Okay? Any questions? Is that left leg that you're bringing across his shin, is that to bring his leg with you? you you're, when you went to your half guard, you naturally brought your left leg across. Yeah, because I, because in that moment, because I'm not moving, I'm flat. So I, I want to create the clear understanding. i got to trap his leg so he didn't just slide it through. But I wouldn't be flat. I would be moving through that flatness onto my left side. Okay. Okay. One more time. Here, I'd be here, locking onto the hip, pushing that knee. Bottom line, driving up. You see this foot? It's already in position to pull his leg, okay? So that this foot can slide out. And as the left leg comes out from the bottom, because remember, if we're like this, I'm not gonna get up because my left leg is blocking me. So I take my right leg. I'm going to begin to twerk his knee so that my left leg can come out, but my left arm has to come out as I drive forward. Pull out my left arm and my left leg and stay on him. Okay? Why not? Make sense? You want to? Oh. Push that knee, get an after. Get used to it because this really is.